Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back yet again in the colony section yet again for another puzzly cursor map. It's Pack Cursor 3 Pump 19. Location, Pump 19, affectionately known as Mr. Pump by its inhabitants. And, uh, Alpharius 22 by the Creeper uh, has been targeted for destruction by the Creeper. Dash you. We have targeted it. We will be going to destroy this pump station. And here we go. We can see loads of things already. Once more unto the breach, after successfully initiating a prison break and destroying a research laboratory, you have now been tasked with the utter destruction of the human laboratory. Alpharius 22 via a foolishly unguarded outpost at the top right corner of the facility. Activate the meteor beacon there and a drop an emitter. Oh, meteor beacon. Um, they have uh, an anti-creeper piping system in place that we can infiltrate and use for our own malevolent devices. But be careful! It can be used against you, so keep your eye on your advanced. Any output pipes marked on the map by, with a white and blue pillar are to be watched carefully. There are also concerning reports of the humans developing orbital weapons here. Uh, we've seen them used in pre uh, previously to devastating effects. Uh, so your priority should be to destroy any green R harvesting sections along the way. Unfortunately, a nearby supernova has corrupted some of our systems, meaning the blob, spore, and skimmers are all unavailable. Oh no. So I'll need to survive using your wits and by building up a large cache of creeper. And then there's a note here. The AI will use orbital rockets firing either rain or a combination of singularity then conversion. So it's either rain or it's singularity, then conversion on the deepest creeper. Uh, it can get confused by the pump output, however, so don't expect to always go for the most obvious target. And then uh, there we go. Let's get our butt in gear. Uh, there is our orbital emitter zone. Very fantastic. We do have the ability to mesh. We have the ability to crimson. We have a stash. We have an emitter. Uh, we have lures. Um, and we have no power. Maybe we'll get some power. Uh, let's see. We have six power. Oh, and it has the cursor power. Do love that. Let's get this in gear. Uh, I don't think we're going to really use our power just yet. We'll probably use it in the next, like, once once we get, like, established here. This goes, ooh, where does this go? This goes over here and, okay, into the main base. Obviously, we're not going to be doing anything in the main base right now. So we're just going to stick with this. And there's a canan over there. Don't care about that. We want to go straight for the next pumping zone, right? We just want to keep things pumping, keep it going. And uh, our cursor's already doing pretty good. I mean, it's not like the strongest cursor in the world, but you know, it's strong enough for me to be happy. There we go. Let's get our button gear. And I think this is where we're going to start our emission process, right? Let's just boop, 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 boop. Is that six? That's seven. I count well. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Uh... Oh, that actually counts as an emitter. Oh, get rid of you. You're not a free emitter. You're a, you're, you're a jerk emitter. Uh, there we go. There we go. Let's just move our butt down. All right, so far so good. We, we're just going to, you know, follow, follow the, the zones, right? One zone after another. I completely forgot. Uh, map indicator on the go. Very fantastic. Much better, much better. Uh, of course, this is a uh, cursor map, so I do want to have my cursor and close. And from here, we can now remove the behind to place up ahead, right? So let's let's plan to surround this. So one, two, three, four, and five. Buzzing. Deleted pretty much everything. Move our moving our butt down. That way, we're surrounding the. Uh, the little node uh, pipe connection, whatever you want to call it. We're surrounding it as fast as possible. So that sounds pretty good to me. Let's get in there. Where do you go? Okay, so this goes to the corner and over here. All right, let's snag this corner because that is definitely ooh, uh, where I want to be. Right? I mean, this is a nice little... Oh, there's lasers here. There's literally a laser right here. Get out of here, laser. I don't want you in my face. And yeah, without that, we should be able to take it. Sorry, just get it. Just get a corner. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be good for business. And bazinga bazanga. I don't even think we need to put anything here. What are you? Ooh, whoa, there's so many lights. Okay, so now this is connected to here and to here. So now we have a connection point from to there 
uh, which is this zone, which, I mean, I, uh, it's just a very, a very long pathway. Uh, this will get us more space. I kind of want more space. So let's go with the space side. I'm going to leave one emitter there just to keep pumping into this in case, you know, Bertha's take this out. I want to make sure creep is coming into here. Uh, I think uh, I'm going to just fill this up a teeny bit, but we're really focused on this side, I think. So what do we have over here? We have all, like, loads. I mean, they have loads of energy, so I'm not super concerned about that. Um... It actually looks like, even though there's walls and things, this entire thing is open, right? There's there's towers in the middle, so we can actually get through this. And since the point we care about is on the bottom, I think I'm going to go for the bottom side. It sounds about right. Um, that's an interesting... I, I kind of like that. <laughs> that's like, hey, yeah, there's, there's stuff here, but it's not that bad, right? It's not that bad. Um... Boop, 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 keep it moving. Obviously, we want to take out the entire place. We, we want as much space as possible. Obviously, space is power for us. So, space is important, of course. But for now... Yeah, we can literally just go through this. I mean, look at this. Uh, maybe we'll go through the middle just to cut off the... Uh, the M Rift earlier. Because we can go through wherever we want, really. Uh, and we'll just get through here, buzzinga, and yeah, just just get that good, get that good. And what's also nice is while this is moving, we can just make it. Boop, let's plop an emitter there. Let's plop one over here too. Might as well uh, turn on an emitter. You know, just get a couple of emitters, fill this place up. That way, we don't have to worry about it so much. We'll also put down some near the zone that we care about. Uh, let's get this emerald. I don't know why. I know this power isn't really gonna matter for MRF set wise, but I just want it dead. I just want it dead. Uh, if I see an MRF, I want to kill it. Doing pretty good. We're t okay. We get in the corner. Beautiful. Where does this take us now? Uh, let's wait for all the things. Let's plop down another emitter or so. Maybe two. And where does this go? This goes here. Okay, so now we have double duty up here, which will help push this. We have single duty down here. There is a little shield there that'll get us over here. Where does this lead us? This will lead us to this, like... Okay, so this will lead us to attack this zone from this side. We can follow this. Which leads to a shield to attack from the other side. Okay, that's, that's not bad. Uh, this will lead us to this side. And this green R zone. Very cool. And up there. Okay, so we really want the shield down. I guess we just kind of want to blow this in just because we can while that shield is being destroyed we'll flow in sort of the top and the bottom together i guess no real reason not to i suppose um maybe we want the bottom more no i don't know we have limited power however um, and you know just for the sake of cleanliness what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just fill up up here um bazing it and just drop an emitter up here just because uh, you know, it, it gets it on this side of the map. Just to fill up more. We're not using our power right now. I, I mean, I guess we could use, like, Crimsonators, right? I think we have those. Um, but for now, I'm feeling pretty okay. Again, we want to just get as much power as possible. And we want to move our Butculon. So, gotta do that. Gotta enjoy. Uh, that was interesting. Those turned purple. I uh, don't know why. Not upset by that. It's just, just a curious statement that I noticed. Now, we are able to move pretty well, although this is going to be dangerous for this top side. So this top side kind of has to either move or stop, right? It's like one of those where it's like, ah, oh, it's hitting a, it's going to hit a threshold with the, all these Mortares. Um, ooh, is the shield down? I think, yeah, the shield is down. That means we are just all hands on deck over here. This is much more importante than anything we were doing before. Uh, it's breeding right now, so I'm not really pushing, but now that it's done breeding, we should be able to take at least a little bit there. We'll move it on down. So many explosions! Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> we almost lost it there. Uh, very cool. We're almost to the next set. Again, this will breed in a second. So, we'll just take what we can 
Uh, don't want to be pushing into the next one while it's breeding, I figure, so we might as well just do something like that. Fill this back in so it doesn't sort of dry out, because I'm guessing we're going to want to move down there at some point. And the breeding is over, so let's just move our butt down. And maybe I'll just leave this middle one open and just go straight for the final one. Because I want to get that Emrift. That Emrift will, of course, turn off the Mortares. It'll turn off uh, these commands. And getting this, I think, is the key right here. So, bazinga, bazinga. Get rid of that. Let it breed one more time. But the Emrift is gone. So, yeah, they're kind of in some dribble right there. Beautiful stuff. Okay, so now we're going to be able to put pressure over here, as well as uh, the as well as the green R zone. Um, and I don't know what I want more. So we take this, we can take this Emrift pretty easily, I think. We take the Emrift, all this turn lo loses power. If all this loses power, I guess we just sort of take this naturally, right? So let's go for the Emrift and then go for the green R zone. Oh no, it's, oh no, is that rain, or is that, nope, that is not rain, that is not rain, <laughs> I think, I think we have a uh, handy dandy, uh... oh, yeah, they're, they're sucking all that creep up, that's okay, let them suck it up, uh, they've actually blown it all up, which actually is more handy for us, because they're going to convert it. Uh, automatically, I'm assuming, via the AI. And if they convert basically nothing, I mean, that's just a win for me, if you ask me. Uh, we were able to take quite a bit of land. We're already pushing into this, which is great. And this will get us to ZM Rift O'Clock, which should... I mean, most of these areas are completely surrounded by the Ultranium, Crazonium, uh, whatever those walls are. <laughs> and there we go. So now with this, theor theoretically... Uh, this, these two should just push naturally, be able to take the rest. Uh, where is, what is going into this? It was you go into there, and you go into there. So both of these should be now active. Um, that's very good. And there's an Emrift in every corner. So let's just get to a corner, start working from there. No reason to start from the center. You're going to get surrounded by the AC, and you never want to. Gosh, they're birthing over here. I don't know. Stop your birthing. Stop your birthing. Oh, I don't know if we're strong enough for this yet. This might be something that we're not exactly strong enough to sort of hold. Um, I hope we are. But maybe we just take out the Emrefs and just leave it at that. Because without the Emrefs, obviously, there's no green R. So that's really all I care about, right? No Emrefs, no problem. Oh, they're doing a thing. They're doing a thing. Of course they're doing a thing. Uh, do we have any creep over, over here? my creep just to just to just to drip drop there we go let them rain over there don't care we ju oh wait where is this oh this goes to the base okay yeah we don't care too much about this for now again just getting rid of their green art collection i think is all that i care about at the moment obviously we'll want this whole thing eventually oh man it does look like we can take it though right like it looks like we are making some progress in some areas and then all the bertha shots come right and then those bertha shots come causes all the problems um wild like we're gaining some ground and then they just take it back and i don't want to waste all my time just with this right we have one more emref to deal with we've taken again we've taken a good amount of land but these berthas just completely decimate us um let's see that just fills in so paste uh just get to this one emref o'clock and we're good here good okay so now we have what are we going for we have this which leads to here which leads to here and center uh we have this which leads up here does it lead to both oh interesting okay um let's move this forward because i'm gonna tr Ooh. I want this still going. Let's move this forward. So my goal right now, I think. Um, again, don't really care about that green R zone. We've taken it out, in essence, right? It's been removed. I'm actually. How is this fighting back? I don't even understand. 
I don't say okay. That's okay. Uh, we're gonna move this down like this. Get through the hard zone, so to speak. Um, how's up behind? Uh, did oh, see, yeah, AC is pumping back here. Good to know. And oh, I think it's super games. Uh, I don't think our cursor is strong enough at the moment to make a big enough pillar. Plus, we don't have enough land to sort of take super ships yet. But we're gonna we're gonna work on killing that eventually, right? That's gonna be kind of our goal. And now my goal is to yeah, see, look at this. We're sort of progressing two paths at once. Uh, maybe not perfectly, maybe not perfectly, but we are kind of doing it, right? Maybe we'll just do a little serpentine zigzag pattern. Uh, get this one side, get this other side, and honestly, I should probably move a couple of these. Don't quite need so many back there. That one can actually stay, and I'll get rid of this one. And we'll just put one over here for now, and we'll, we'll keep moving. Again, they're sort of our safety net, just to sort of keep things going on as well as they can be on our side. Uh, we're making it through everything. There's no power over here, so I'm really not worried about it, so to speak. And yes, yes, go, my double creeps. Uh, <laughs> one line to progress two paths. Which feels pretty... Oh, no. No, the jerks. Oh, butts. All right, let's, let's make sure this doesn't dry up, because I think they're going to do a conversion, which is quite annoying. Um, unfortunately for us, we cannot do anything uh, to save the center area, or the, the line, so to speak. Uh, let's just make sure that's... Again, I just don't want to lose our path, or our gain that we had. Um, there's the conversion coming out. Very annoying, but that's okay. We're fine, we're fine. Uh, we're just moving along, singing this song, and not letting this die. I want to get... I just want to get this to the corner. Just get it to the corner. Get this conversion done. Fine. And the corner is ours. Perfect. We have two power. Emitter. Emitter. Good. Uh, just just get those there. Get them in the corner. They will hold, hopefully. And that will allow us just to, just to maintain that while we progress this side. Uh, where is this going again? Okay, so that will take out that. We just need, you know, we need the big boy to, to leave, unfortunately. <laughs> so it'll take a second. As always, the big old flying ships cause the problems that we just don't want to deal with. So we just let it go away, right? We just let it go away. This. Uh, yeah, get a little bit of creep over there. There we go. Get rid of your MRF. Get rid of your laser, please. Um, are they converting this area already? Is that what they're doing right now? Oh, no, they're, they're raining on it. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm just going to let that happen. Uh, we'll get the laser later. Um, because, honestly, it's not that bad that they're <laughs> wasting their time right now. That laser can't turn on again, right? It's never going to turn on again. So I'm kind of okay with them just wasting their uh, their green R over there. So, or orbitals. Uh, Bazinga, give me some power. Okay, I do want to take that out, but I do believe, uh, emitter-wise, we don't need these any longer. They are now free. Um, this area is looking fine. This area, we have two back here. So we have two, two, and two. Get rid of those. We can get rid of one of these for now. Probably get rid of the other. We'll see. Um, probably can even get rid of this one at this point. This one is actually fending off some AC, so I'm going to leave that one there. Um, so let's just keep it going. We have four. Yeah, four to use is nice. Definitely think, yeah, we can get one in here. So let's let's just get a little checkpoint, a little safety checkpoint made. Um, that way, no matter what happens, we will have... Maybe we'll, maybe we'll put like two or three in a line, uh, just in case they really pelt it. Um, obviously, we can move them later. Um... This way, we just we just have we just have that safety net, right? We have that safety net that shouldn't go anywhere. Now that we're doing this, this should come up. Get this area. Um, again, the laser doesn't matter. It's just nice to have this area be ours. You know, this is key zones. Uh, this is going to lead here and base, so we don't care about the base portion. Um, it looks like okay. Oh, this is their blue light supply. Let's get rid of their blue light supply, and can we? Yeah, let's just toss an emitter, a safety emitter. Uh, bazinga, bazonga, perfecto. 
And yeah, let's get their blue white supply, right? Just get rid of that MREFT right there. Blue white supply going down. Beautiful. I do like the fact. Oh, no. Get out of here. Those. Okay, yeah, getting rid of the blue white supply so they don't have their AC wessels anymore will be very nice, right? Just get rid of everything that's shooting AC everywhere. Uh, don't like them. Don't need them. You don't want them. I don't want them. We all don't, don't want them. Oddly enough, that emitter is having a hard, hard time. And our trip... I'm actually surprised. The triple emitter just to the right is not actually pushing. I figured they would be able to push. Unfortunately, they cannot. Um, it's not the end of the world, of course. It's just some... You know, I figure... You would figure that it would be able to push. But no more blue-white for them, which means... Uh, all of those blue white planes should be, in essence, kind of gone. Um, also, no more power in this zone, which is just very nice, because this zone will fall. And, yeah, as you can see, we will just spread. Um, this area is doing a okay. The AC is annoying. That's okay, that's okay. Where does this go? Okay, so this leads to the planes! Oh, we can actually destroy the planes now. Even better, even better. Um, okay, let's get rid of this pile. <laughs> They're so annoying. They're so annoying. Um, I'm gonna take one from over here and move it like over here. Again, just just a just a safety emitter. You know, it's 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 nice to have a safety emitter. But do we need it? Not officially, but it's nice to have just in case something happens you know if they do a conversion or something that emitter will you know be trapped for a little bit but it should eventually break through again something along those lines but it's so nice getting rid of all of this bye bye ac planes not only did we get the blue white but it let us get the ac planes right away so getting rid of those let's take a look at the map did we lose anything to ac planes like that oh super ship is coming the ship is coming. Uh, we're fine up there. We're fine up there. We're fine over there. So overall, we're mostly fine. Um, the super ship is coming, so I'm just gonna keep this again, just to keep it. You know, just want some creep in there, just as a precaution. This whole area again, out of power. This one emitter will take out the entire thing. Uh, I'm a little worried about that zone, but that's a okay. And yeah, we don't longer need that. We honestly don't need that safety emitter. Um, I will move it up here, though, um, just so we have an emitter next to the, uh, <laughs> I don't like this, I don't like this, I will admit. Get out of here, big shit. Uh, do we have enough to actually hurt you? Oh, uh, I think we can start to hurt that, so that's nice. Obviously, we don't have the space for it, but the, it's good to know. It's good to know. And it looks like this top zone that we are currently in is fairly safe. It doesn't look like the super ship will hit it. So I'm not worried about that. And yeah, look at that. That one emitter down here completely took this out. Very nice. Where do you lead me? You lead me to another corner. Oh, and to a laser. Yeah, let's get rid of that laser. Get out of here, please. Already taken down another one. That feels pretty good. One more laser down. Feels glorious. And where did where are these lead? This ooh, this leads to here and to base, so more base potential. Um, don't really care about the base potential. Um, where does this lead? All right, check that out. This leads. Oh, this leads to a green R. Mm, I don't want to get that green R. Uh, this leads up here, which then leads to oh, this completes the circuit. Oh, and leads up here, and this leads to the factory. Mm hmm. That's uh, that sounds pretty good to me. The factory uh, sounds pretty lovely. Um, what's nice is we actually have pressure in the uh, little square above. We are actually not putting anything like we're not using a cursor there, but it's actually you know causing causing some work. So I'm happy for that. We can toss down another emitter, just like this corner zone, and just keep it. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, definitely want to get rid of their factory, because we get rid of the factory, we get rid of all the lasers forever. And I think that's honestly one of the biggest things we can do, because if you notice, our power is directly tied to the amount of creep on the map. It's not how much we cover, so just covering more land is not going to help us, right? I mean, it will help us, of course. I mean, it's just, it's, it's good to do. 
but realistically, we actually need to take the land, right? We actually need, or uh, just grow our creep. These lasers are not letting us do that. So, what will be good for us? That's right, it's, uh, it's just getting everything destroyed. Now, let's put these two down at the end. Just want to take that out. Take out the corner. Don't really care. We'll even toss them there over here. Might as well. Get out there. Get going. Enjoy. And this is now green R and this path. Now the green R I want again. But this path takes us to the factory itself. So do we waste our time with the green R? Do we just go straight for the factory, right? I think we just go straight for the factory. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. Berthas are so annoying. <clears throat> Stab it, Berthas. <clears throat> but that's okay. That's okay. We're still on the move. We're still on the groove. Feeling pretty good. And this actually will save uh, the bottom area because that's all of that AC is actually coming from this one that we're about to take. So by taking this, we will then free up our handy dandy, lovely schmubbly, uh, first emitter in that first zone. That's amazing. As we do this, this takes us, and it also gives us the path to the factory. Uh, I mean, how can you argue with that? They're doing something there. Looks like they're singularity which is annoying. Um, but that's a-okay. Oh no, they're just raining. Ah, uh -huh, success! Rain all you want. Please, rain all day long. I would love it if that's what you chose to do all the time. Because <clears throat> if that's what they choose to do, that means they are not we, uh, you know, singularity conversioning, which can actually set us back, right? Rain, it's annoying. It's like, oh, uh, okay, they're destroying a small little area. Conversion, that can take things. That can, that can actually, oh my gosh, there's probably a lot of AC here. Uh, that can actually hurt us, though. So, don't want that conversion to happen, uh, if at all possible. <laughs> we have so much to get through, holy moly. We can do it. We're strong enough. We're big creep boys. Oh, we just need to get to here. Nope. Don't birth over here. Stop it. Like right now, if they were to convert this one area, we'd be we'd be in some serious trouble, if you think about it, right? Because there's really not much that we can do to stop it. So Hopefully they don't. <laughs> I don't jinx myself, but I think I just kind of did. Um, that's okay. That's okay. Cool. They just—they literally just singularity. You can—you can see the suck in. <laughs> oh, it hurts! It hurts the soul. All right, all right, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, we'll just keep this. We'll just keep it creeped here. And where else can we go? Uh, we can go down here. Sure, let's go down here. Um, you know, as long as this stays, I, I super jinxed myself, that was so bad. I should be working to kill the giant flying demon, uh, but that's okay, that's okay. Luckily, the one good thing about the Singularity is that the Berthas will fire on it. Oh no. I was afraid for a second, I was like, just don't lose everything over there, that's all that I cared about. Um do want to get this area now that we're sort of taking some of it, right? I mean, we've taken some and honestly getting green R out of the way is actually really important because that will prevent them from doing more orbitals. The lasers that are now coming will be uh, turned off longer. So I do want to get as much pain as possible for that. Uh, again, I don't really care to take this area right now because where is it? Well, where is this? Okay, that leads to more base pressure, which is good. I do want more base pressure, for sure. Um, and I do want that, without a doubt. Uh, but for now, man, I do want that. I think, because that's the thing, more base pressure means we're just draining the creep in here for when we do uh, actually assault it. So I don't know how much base pressure we need in order to quote unquote win, so to speak. Oh no, oh, that's just a rain. That's just a rain. I don't care about your rain, just give me that M Rift. Just give me the M Rift! Stay, ooh, okay, over here. Stay good, stay good. 
Very good. Very good. We have one MRF left up here. Oh no, I think I lost it. I think I lost it. But. We're in the opposite corner. It's so frustrating. Uh, is this still pooping out? Okay, we're in a much closer position up here. It's fine. Uh, up here, problematically. You know what? Why am I wasting my time? Just take the just take the factory. We take the world, right? We take the factory. It doesn't matter if they have green R zones. Ah, it's just so silly of me. And again, once the lasers are out, like I was hoping, like doing this, like it isn't bad to do to take that last uh, green R zone. Because again, the longer it takes uh, them to send up orbitals, the more, the longer it takes these lasers to spool back up because they run out of energy just like that. Um, that's the sort of why I wanted to take it. But yeah, uh, just looking at that factory, that factory is full of lift deck. Taking that one M rift is not going to change things. Uh, we just need to make sure we get out of this zone, can get to the factory, and destroy that Factorio. Uh, so that is the key goal. Let's move on. Buttoxes. We are almost finally out of, I think, the hardest part, which is this teeny tiny little pathway. And then we're into more open areas. Open areas should be better for us. Um, but of course, the lasers are coming back on. So our cursor power, as you can see, was at 14.5 like or something. And it's already dropped down to... Oh, no, it's come back up. But that one laser did chunk it quite a bit. So the more that turn on in a moment... Uh, as they turn on, there we go. Look at the power drain whenever those turn on. Down to 11, down to 10. <clears throat> I mean, that's 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 pretty big. Four out of 14, holy moly. Two sevenths of our power gone, just like that. And that, I hope, is a rain. It is. Okay, so that being a rain means we can still hopefully move. Hopefully that means they have no orbitals because they just used everything on the... <laughs> well, let's keep it going. Let's just get out of this circle. Oh, I think we can do that. I think... Made it out. And now we just have the big windy path. From windy path to windy path. Surprise, surprise, surprise. We can't, we can't stop it. Um, but there is no AC behind us, so this whole area... You know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do that just so it stays like covered, um, just so we have a backlog behind us because again it's just like before we do want that creep to be doing something for us, uh, not doing something for us, but we we don't want to like lose it because we uh, didn't backfill anything. Like over here again, uh, just just get some creep in there, just let it do its thing. Um, I do wish I could take that. Oh, you know what I could do? Hmm, I'll do that. Just, just put an emitter in there. That might help. That might help. Um, we just do this. It, it wasn't coming through, and if it's not coming through, I'm not going to waste my time. Because uh, I was wasting my time, but I really need to get to their fix. We need to stop the lasers from coming back on, or turning back on, or the orbitals going up. They are firing four orbitals at a time. So, yep, we can even hear one. Oh, no, we can't. I thought I could hear one. Okay, that is a singularity. Okay, so this entire area is essentially off limits now, which kind of sucks because they're going to convert it. It's okay, that's okay. That is what it is. They're, they're doing their thing. It's what they want to do. Uh, where does this go? Oh, this goes down here. Huh. Nice. Um, oh, and we, we have a way around, so we at least have another zone that we can assault. Um, that's that's nice. I'm happy for that, I suppose. Uh, not exactly the win that I want. Yeah, look at that singularity. Sucking everything up. I actually do want it to suck everything up, and I don't want to put more creep into it, because I don't want them to convert more of my creep into anti-creep. Um, once the singularity goes down, we will do things, of course. There's the singularity. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out these. I'm going to put two emitters in this zone. Um, that's going to be next on the hit list. That zone. Just just plop some emitters down there. Let it let them do their thing while we keep moving. So emitter. We'll just do two up there because the main uh, shield. Oh. Please, please emitter. 
we go. Uh, okay, so they just did their singularity. That is, again, a lot of their orbitals. So, <laughs> back on the path again. Holy moly, please just let me get through this time. I doubt it's going to let me get through. Oh, but they are raining, so that is now uh, eight orbitals that they use. That is two full zones that they just, uh, or two full launches that they just did. It's actually very big news for us, right? <clears throat> so, we just need to take them out. Uh, damn it. We can definitely do it for sure. So far, I think we're making better progress again. I don't see any orbitals going up, which is nice. <clears throat> Headset malfunction. All good, man. All right. These Berthas, I wish I could destroy the Berthas easily, but again... Uh, we, we don't have that pathway. And we're sort of just using what we have. So I'm not going to stop. Because if we make it through this, we get through these orbitals. Um, we've taken out the factory. No more lasers. No more anything. Uh, plus, this also leads to the last green R zone as well, I believe. So this will lead us to the last... Well, there's two green R zones left. Um, but one of the last two green R zones. But that doesn't matter because we're just going to take out the factory. Um, so good on us. We're halfway through. It is making progress, so long as they, they I mean, they've already done it twice. They, oh, I think we just saw a liftoff. Our current cursor power is looking pretty good right now, though, which is nice, although there goes the laser. Once you bring it up, that's when defeat happens. I'm almost tempted to move to another area until we see, um orbitals go down just to sort of trick the ai that oh is that actually better like right now we could start working over here and over here make sure the orbitals don't hit where we want it to hit obvious oh there we go oh is that rain oh please be rain uh it's so good okay so we have some rain over there where is this leading us this is leading us to over here um let's move these two over and honestly we probably can destroy this friendo uh, no we don't have enough space it's not going to be in the in the zone for too long right now keep that creeped up yeah we're definitely able to do damage to it now uh, as you can see it is the health bar does exist. Uh, so we can start to kill this off, which will be very, very good. I am going to stay away from that area just for the time being until we see the... Want progress. I want progress. I think they just fired that out. I think we, they need another launch cycle for their singularity. Yeah, the big ship does heal on the way up back, so that's a little bit of a nuisance. Uh, we do... Okay, so they are launching their rockets. As you can see, they are launching now. So I'm going to move elsewhere temporarily. Because they should now have six orbitals. Um, because they fired two of the four earlier. Uh, so let's start taking this out. Oh, we lo oh, look at that! Look at that! That's a singularity! Oh, it did it! It did it! Holy moly, that was perfect! Oh, it actually worked! <laughs> it 
worked. Oh my gosh, we're now we're now we're good. I mean, honestly, getting that should be basically all we needed. Just missing one singularity cycle is huge because it's just you have to wait for the singularity, you have to wait for the conversion, then you ha you know it's just one after another, and then it sets you back so far. Where now we don't have to wait for anything. We are just going strong. That's amazing. Uh, I hope this gets us to the factory. I don't know if it'll make, get us all the way across, but we should be able to get a fair bit closer now. Yep, they do have a rain, which is fine. I am perfectly happy with them raining all day long. Rain all you want, just don't singularity and convert me. See, we can even go through the rain, right? That's what's pretty neat. Uh, can't do that with the Singularity Convert, though. So again, next uh, launch cycle, my guess would be when they are going to do another conversion. So we did make a lot of progress. Just want to make sure that doesn't dry up. It should, I mean, there was plenty of creep over Paranoia, paranoia. Everybody's coming to get me. And we are over halfway across. But they are launching another set of rockets. This is uh, the paranoia that I was having before. So I'm going to let it go. Now it'll take, it, maybe it takes an extra minute of our time and things of that, like that. But if it does prevent them from singularity up there. I'm just going to give it a sec, because if it, it will... Okay, it looks like they don't have enough for the singularity. I do want to turn this on. It's there. But let's keep it moving. They don't have enough for the singularity. Let's move our butt. Get it to the end. Uh, probably could have gotten it to the end now, but hey, that's my fault. I was paranoid. And that's kind of what happens when you get paranoid sometimes. Um, unfortunately, I don't know what's going on here, because this is supposed to go up there. Uh, no, it's not doing anything. Uh, so that's an unfortunate situation. I would I want to say I'd love to turn off their red on. I don't really think their red on is being used for anything, so it doesn't really matter. But here we go. We have done it. Okay, and this gets us to factory. Uh, factory town, population, Emrift, get out of here. Get out of here, Emrift. Boom. No more Emrift. No more factory. No more lasers. No more orbitals. Uh, I think that sort of seals the deal on their worldly presence, so to speak. Um, well, I guess I guess they do have a little bit more in the term of orbitals, because they had a few left. But uh, they're not going to be producing any more than what they got. Uh, I do want to take this entire area just because, you know, yeah, it's good to, to free the land. And we've taken most of it, so I'm not, like, worried about that. Uh, it's not breeding right now, so we got some time. This orbital, of course, uh, is annoying, but we should be able to just hone in the rest of this. Once it starts breeding, we're going to take most of it. And that should be the last of their orbitals. So huzzah for us. We have done it. Can we get some creep over here? Right, where does this get? Oh, this goes to the base. Oh, so we're on base assault mode. Oh, boy. Um, so we so once we take this now, which they don't have orbitals to contend with. Um, and if this is base assault, I mean, I don't care about you. 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 Now let's get rid of those uh, over here. Get rid of you. Um, I'm gonna just drip drab some ace, some creep over here because I can. And let's just fill this sucker up, right? I mean, let's just get it going over here. Uh, buzzing. Good. This is probably how I should have just taken all of them. Just move a bunch of emitters in here. Gives you that safety net in the corner. Allows you to really expand much harder. Take it out. 
Um, and also, what's so nice is without the lasers, our power is never going to really decrease, right? Our power should only be increasing realistically. Yeah, of course, the Berthas are going to be doing things. You know, the Berthas will be birthing. It's what they do. But they can only do so much now, right? Um, without the orbitals, without, you know, all of that extra firepower. I mean, look, without the lasers, honestly. The laser is the biggest thing. I mean, our power is going up, and it's going down, but for the most part, for the most part, it's it's on the up and up, so I'm very happy with that. We've taken all of this, we're, we're just filling up their base, and oh man, we can, we can really enter their base. Uh, yeah, it is base o'clock, <laughs> let's get this going, let's definitely have one there, one there, one there, one there, and just, just, just one anywhere. Um... At one anywhere is probably in like the worst spot possible, but that's okay. That's okay. I just want to turn off essentially all of their uh, AC breeding zones. Um, plus, we have we have a lot of uh, little breeding zones on the outside. Uh, not all of them, so I guess that's something that we have to contend with. We don't have all of them, but we have we have a fair bit of breeding zones on the outside. Um, do they actually have enough for one? Oh, look at them. I'm using it up, and that's A-OK. -okay. Uh, I really want to take this front door, because now that's the front door taken. Uh, again, there is a good amount of AC here, but we have we have the emission going now. We're actually working our way from the center out. Uh, so just get an emitter. Actually, this emitter is not doing anything. You know, this one in the corner, I'm going to just double up on these... Uh, breeding zones. So, let's just keep the breeding zones under control. Keep the front door under lock and key. Keep the breeding zones down. Start working out from here. Um, again, the Berthas are honestly the big problem right now. It's all those Berthas. Surprise, surprise. But that's A-OK. -okay. Because we have most of the breeding zones now. Like, look at that. It's, it's in the middle. It's on. It's in the breeding zone. Let's keep it ours. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. Keep pushing the outside out. Keep the inside in. And that feels a little bit better. I mean, once we get rid of the MREFT, of course, no more power to the rest of the map. Which is just good for business, of course. Um, down here, don't care about. We could take, like, these two, because these two are spots that will start filling in more and more creep. Um, just to take more and more AC. Uh, I don't really think... Like, if I, could, if I knew the center was fine, I would totally do that. Um, but as long as the center isn't fine... Oh, there was an MRF there that was powering the rest of the map. Ooh. Oh, no, that was just powering the inside area. Okay, it was just the inside area. The rest of the map. Uh, oh, that's the MRF. We have made it to the MRF for the map. And that is going to end it. The buzzing. Uh, whew. No more power for the map. Sucks for these Berthas. But the creep is taking hold. We actually didn't take that much of the map, if you think about it. We've only taken, uh, oh, 50% of it? But there we go. Everything being taken. Hopefully. Uh, which is it's you. Let's put some creep up here. Let's, let's just start taking this at this point. Uh, look at those lines being filled in. Oh, it's so gorgeous. It's so glorious. And we even turned on this, which is filling that up, which is lovely as well. Uh, we're just, just having a grand old time. So we have done it. Uh, I will... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rift jump away. I'll, I'll paint in what of the map I can left, um, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, but let's just see how we did. Uh, we did 36 minutes, which... Oof, this was a very long one for a lot of people. Um, so there we go, hour 22, hours, four, you know, uh, 48, there's a 35, definitely beating us, 39, 32, 
Um, so yeah. Oh, 26. Look at you, green. Look at you go. Um, but overall, I feel like we had a pretty good time overall. Um, so pretty happy with that. Um, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I am going to keep playing just to, just to paint the rest of the world. You know, it's, it's, it's just a relaxing painting shindig. Uh, so feel free to stick around. Uh, if not, I do hope you have a wonderful day. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's just a good old time. Just, just relaxing. Um, and even the super cannon, the super, uh, gun in the air can't get power anymore. So, oh, although there are a lot of porters, so there is probably a lot of power still floating. Um, but again, we are we are taking everything. The entire inside is being completely overrun, which is what we want to see. Um, and yeah, we're taking one thing at a time. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Look at that. Uh, they took it all. I thought I took enough of this that it wouldn't matter. <laughs> there should be a critical mass. Especially if... Oh, the birth is... Oh. Oh, is there a creep, like, in space? Oh, look at that! Oh, there's, like, creep in the space in between. Very cool. Okay, so that... That's actually a really good safety net. I had no idea about it. See? Yeah, learn something new all of the time. Uh, let's just fill these up. Get them churning. We'll get down here. And again, much like before, we are now done with these. So... Let's put all six down here. Fill them up. Which one's producing? She just needs some green. I'm actually amazed. Without the base, they still have so freaking much going for them. Like, these, these Berthas are just non-stop fire. Like, good on these porters. They have loads of energy. <laughs> um, good on them. But now, we're gonna... We're just gonna take this the easy way, right? We're just gonna... I'd normally go to the edge, but hey, we can just take the entire center, make it ours, and then we'll just spread out. Probably, if I had done this from the beginning, this probably actually would have helped a little bit, just giving us a little bit more pressure on the center, um, because of this going to the center. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. You know, it happens. It happens. Um, there we go. Just spread, spread, spread. Enjoy the work. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Okay, so what is left? Where can we go? Actually, why are these not destroyed? You know, when, when you have something to destroy, sometimes you just want to get out of here, friendos. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. All six of these now done. Uh, we have this that's going up there. Good. Let's just put some emitters around it because clearly it was not having a good time. Just do something like that. Super make sure it's going. Uh, all of this is, is done, which is great. Uh, this area we can't get to. This is up here. So maybe we just need to make some more creep for that. Uh, maybe the AC is too strong? It's just, it's just not working. Oh, okay. So there is some creep coming out now. Let's go. Right through the red on. The fields of red. No, Earth is a step. Ah, this red on area is great. Just flying through it. Oh, it goes to space. Oh, we're actually destroying the land. Oh, very clever. Um, all right, so it's destroying the land. So this is a one-way trip. Once we're through, there's no coming back for the red on. It sucks for the red on, but hey, you know we are not the red on, so I'm a okay with that. Uh, and that will get us to the next little. Uh, where's this one going? You got so many places to go. So many little teleporters. Uh, keep it going. Just, just break all the land while we're here. I mean, you never know. It just makes it easier, I suppose. Not that they can actually produce it. But... Alright, so where is this going? This is now going down here. Another one. 
Um, all right, so all of these don't need them anymore. We're going to put one down here. Yeah, I'll put two down. Oh, this is like very strong stuff. I don't even know if we can put two down here. We shall see. And yes. And yes. Okay, good. Because uh, there's some shields there, so you might as well snag that lad. Alright, next on the hit list. Another ways across. Ooh. Ooh, oh wow, it's it's kind of neat seeing when it like eventually forces its way through. I do really like that. But the real key is we just need to get through this. We just need to get through it. Uh, that shield is still going down, which is a okay. That's why we put the emitter next to it. Fantastic. Uh, but we see it's still surviving in the center, a tiny, tiny bit. This leads to over here, which is huge. I should. I thought this was going to die by now. Does that have, like, unlimited ammo or something? I don't even know what it's doing. Um, but this doesn't even matter, right? We can just completely decimate everything. Again, our power is just so strong at this point. It really doesn't matter what we do. Um, they really can't stop us at this point. So, there is... So, oh, the Emmers are still transferring power via the uh, uh, the network, the network of Portairs. Should be running out relatively soon, I would think, but we'll give them a little helping hand. We have, we have, they do not have. Unfortunately, they do not have the power. Uh, so we need to get in here, which will be good for two more. Three more. And just to keep the AC from sort of, you know, being annoying. I do find it interesting. That we are, like, so strong by this point. Like, it's like one or two more. You know, it's, it's a cannon and a mortar. You know, it's like we are, we're strong. Like... Even if we did not take out the anti-air and things like that. Um, oh. Ooh. No, no, no. Nay, nay. Nay, nay, nay. Oh, the problem is all of the uh, creep that's coming in is staying in their lanes. <laughs> that's actually a funny thing. Um, so they are able to actually push into the center zone, which is just, you know, not good for us. But it's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Again, we are just wrapping everything. Up. Again, we're, we're, we're just clean up. Just just take over the world as the creep tends to do. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. We've taken the zone. We're moving along. Of course, we, we need a little bit more effort to take this. But we've taken most of it. We've taken most of it. Give me that. Give me that. And give me this. Bottom and the top. Let them both spread, and we should be good. No more AC here. Love to see it. Love to see it. That's stop. Oh, that's stopping to recharge its energy. Ah, good, good, good. Um, I'm just gonna leave that right there for it. Just let it have have a ball. Because <laughs> there's nothing that I can do. It's been annoying me for quite a while. Boom. Finally. Whew. That, that, that feels really good. Uh, it's not going to feel just as good to get rid of these Berthas. I am not going to lie. Uh, these Berthas have been just a pain in the butt. Holy. And they're so deep. I mean, realistically, they are very deep into this system. Right? Oh. Forgot. Let's just fill that up. I don't know why. We've, we've already made it through, oddly enough, so there's no reason to fill that up, but I um, One Bertha down. Another Bertha going down. I uh, don't even need to kill the Berthas. Technically, we could just go for the MRFs, but... But... We are we are actively killing the Berthas. Because they... You know, they're the ones that were the biggest thorn in the side. Uh, I mean, realistically, it was the orbitals and the lasers. Probably the lasers first, orbitals second. 
and then the Berthas. But the Berthas were the longest pain in the butt, let's say. Um, let's just put it like that. So we are actively going to kill them, not let them just die to some wandering creep. We will move our cursor on top and say, you have been murderlated. Um, so fantastic. No more Berthas. I am so relieved. So relieved. Where do you go? Ah, this just takes us back to here. Wait a second. What does that mean? How do we get to the other zones? Um, what zone am I missing? This goes there. Oh, I think we finally basically taken the entire side inside. All right. Uh, what am I missing? You go. Oh, this one goes in here. This one goes down. Let's let's definitely take this out then. Uh, buzzing it. Very nice. Very nice. The final green art zone. Definitely good to take out. Yeah, rainy. Yeah, we have nothing stopping. And once we take the uh, this, that should be the last bit of AC in the center as well. Yep, there we go. That's now taken. So all of that is now just to be creepified. So beautiful there. Um, what is left? Where did we miss? That goes there. Okay. This goes there. How do we get to, like, this top corner? <laughs> I'm very confused. Uh, this is gonna, sorry for the, the light show. So this one connects to this one. And to get here, we need that. Okay. Um, this one can... So I want one of these two, right? That one or that one. So this one, going all the way over to this one. Okay. So that's that. So this one is very important. So how do we get in here? This is, this is like, this one goes to zoop, zoop, zoop. Oh my gosh, I found this line. To here. Okay. There we go. And this one goes this way. Zoop, 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 zoop. So here. Is this, a, is this a closed circuit? Because this one goes to there and there. This one goes to there and to there. And this one goes to there and to there. I think this is a closed circuit. I don't think we can actually get in there. Interesting. Can we even get in there? No. There isn't even... Oh, wait, there is one. Right there. Okay. Oh, that's not... That's the one that we just get in like this. Okay, well, let's, let's destroy this since we're here. Uh, get rid of... Oh, that's why we wanted to destroy this. Okay, very cool. There goes their energy. Just ha, 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 ha. Um, get out of here. Your AC is no good here. Your power is no good here. Ah, very nice. We can just literally leave our mouse right here. It should just expand on its own. Oh no. That's breeding zone. I didn't realize they were breeding zone. There we go. One breeding zone. That's what we needed to see. And one breeding zone up here. That's what we needed. Okay, good, good, good. So now we've taken out another zone. But yeah, these last three, I. And this one. See, this is a completely closed circuit. You can see there's nothing leading inside. This one, again, there's only two points of leading inside, which is there and there, with one point leading out. So this one point goes here. Uh, it goes to this one. And this one, again, this one only has two points, right? One point, two point, no other points. Uh, just make sure of that. Um... Yeah. It's a while. And then 
up here only has two points, which is one point, two point, and the point out is over here. So it is a closed circuit. We cannot actively or actually destroy this one, this one, or the top left or top right. Why? Okay. <laughs> Sorry for all that. I took a little bit longer than I was expecting. I was planning on destroying everything. Um, so there we go. Um, this is the map then. This is the completed map. Uh, we have done everything that we wanted to do. Uh, we have creep everywhere. We can actively get it, except for this tiny bit, which needs to be filled. But it is filling, and we have the breeder zone, so that's it's going to die in a moment. Um, so yeah, we have we have officially done it. This is officially pack cursor. Um, what's wild is I don't think we can actually make creep now. Like, look at this. So we are not actually making creep over here. Oh, let's destroy those. Um, so I think. In space, you sort of have one go at it. And if you don't take that space section, you don't get that section. So we got kind of lucky <laughs> that I was there at the time. Um, but yeah, if we, uh, like, I, look, it's not even making ripples or puddles. So that could have been, that, that could have been bad. Um, but we did it. We did it. We were, f um, so have a wonderful day. Um, Again, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And yeah, I will catch you next time. Take care.